a sloth murders a bunch of sorority girls. There, I explained it. All right, friends, I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and it's a little tongue-in-cheek because I usually do the Z Explained series as uh, me explaining some sort of <laughs> something you might have missed or some sort of ending with a twist or giving you a little bit of insight. But this is a little different because this is Slaughter House. And since it's Halloween and I wanted to celebrate with some horror movies anyway, I figured I'd give you a little tease with the Slaughter House Explained. There's not a lot to explain here, but it is kind. It is amusing. Uh, it's a B-level movie. Well, let's say it's a C-level movie, not quite a B movie, um, but it's actually it's it's better than Sharknado. <laughs> That's a win. I really think that this movie had the potential to be something better than it actually was. Um, don't get me wrong. It's fun if you have a couple drinks. You're gonna have a good time. It's it's all good. It, it's a good movie. I think it's directed competently. Like there's a lot of good direction there. There's nothing that stands out, especially with a micro budget. I'm sure they had a very small budget, so they did fantastic with what they had. Most of it was good. Most of the casting was good. There was one person who was really annoying, who was in the movie a little too much. Maybe we'll get to them. But overall. Uh, you know, the sloth wasn't as cute as it probably should have been, but the animatronics were fine. It did sloth things. <laughs> I mean, what do you want from a movie with a sloth that pledges a sorority? Essentially, what happens here is there are poachers who swipe a sloth. And spoilers, because I'm going to go through the plot here, and then we'll talk. I have a couple articles for us to look at. Um, actually, let me bring up the articles now because they're saying that Slaughter House could be a slaughter piece. I know, terrible pun. They even get to the point <laughs> where, again, this will have some spoilers in it, where <laughs> they say the name of the thing. They said the name of the thing. I mean, that's a, it was a, it was an okay joke. Um, is it's it's got. We'll look at the ratings too. It's got a a lot of great ratings. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, it, you know what? It could have been Zombievers, which I thought was a little disappointing. This was better than that. So you know, it, cheers to whoever made this. I, I don't exactly know who the director is, but did a good job. Uh, the actors are all fine. And <laughs> It's so, it's so silly. There's like, there's very little CG in this, which is great. It's all animatronic, stunt cast. Like it, it's, it's, it, that's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Here, uh, let's go through the plot, and then I'll go through like some of my pick, well, the things that I thought were a little goofy, and then you know we'll uh, <laughs> we'll go through it. It makes me laugh because it's not hilarious, but it, it's pretty pretty funny. Um, essentially the sloth at, uh, the aforementioned sloth is abducted from the wild after it gets attacked by a crocodile. And you see, it's already potentially very dangerous because it kills the crocodile. It's in wherever sloths are and it gets brought back to the U S uh, this, this sorority girl who's thinking about pledging or it's not thinking about pledging. She's thinking about running for president of the sorority uh, runs into a guy who has, uh, it, whatever, endangered animals or exotic animals. He's an exotic pet dealer. He gives her, uh, they exchange numbers because he's like, you, you you should get a sloth for some reason. It'll raise your, your social media score because there's a lot about social media in this. And uh, there's another, there's a mean girl that she wants to run against. And, you know, hijinks ensue. The sloth slowly raises her social media rank while raising the kill count, raising her up where she finally gets a chance to actually win against the two-term president of the sorority. She's running for her third term, which has never happened before. No one's ever gotten a third term. Oh, I guess they're from Panama, and it gets nominated to be the sorority house mascot. And uh, eventually it gets real, like, angry or something. Like, this isn't poo, blood, and honey. This has an actual plot. It's put together, comp like I said, 
even more than competently. It's got some good stuff going. I, I wouldn't say it's tremendously funny. Some of it is is not super funny, but it's uh, it's got some good stuff to it. And I guess, uh, you know, eventually it just falls into, like, sloth murdering. And here's the, the part. I'll, I'll give some, like, little nitpicks. Uh, there are some clear errors in the movie that I thought were kind of annoying. There's a part where, you know, it, it and it also doesn't kill people in very creative ways. It is uh, PG-13, so it's not extremely uh, bloody. So you're not going to see a lot of that kind of stuff. There's no nudity. There's not a lot of cursing. So it, it's all good. I, I would have liked to see a, re an, a real schlocky R-rated version. Would have been right up my alley, but not for everybody's taste. I, I can I get it, you know, naked girls in the shower, but don't get naked. Fair enough. Not Not, you know... I prefer it the other way, but you don't always get what you want. And when I get my sloth murders, I'd like to see the sloth really going for some gusto, and I didn't get that either. Uh, but it, <laughs> it really lost my suspension of disbelief when the sloth drives a car. <laughs> right? So right off the bat, you kind of get the idea that the sloth, like this isn't, it's going to be schlocky because the sloth can read social, it can read, I guess, English and it goes online and it starts taking pictures and hashtags things. It's very, very intelligent sloth, very adept. There's no explanation for that. But I mean, I don't, I don't need that. I think it could have devolved into schlocky territory, but the jokes could have been delivered better. Like, there's the, the one scene that I'm re that also is like nitpicky. Oh, I, I forgot the mistake. So there's a girl who uh, she gets murdered with a loofah, and you've seen it in the trailers. And she gets stabbed in the shower, and she's clearly there's pictures of her on social media with the thing in her mouth, the pink loofah. Well, there's a part where they find her body, and the pink loofah is not there. Kind of a mistake. There's also a thing where they're like, oh, they ki there's so many girls who get killed in the house. Like it kills like ten girls, and nobody notices. Not one person. They all have roommates, but nobody notices that anybody dies. And it's like, they're like two weeks, like 14 days to the vote, and nobody notices any of the missing girls. And they're like, oh, gee, we, we're missing 10 votes. That's kind of interesting. Like, nobody cares. Nobody pays attention. There's also a part where, like, way too many people come back from the dead, which I don't like. And um, so most of the main characters, again, spoilers, don't die. Like, they die, but then they don't die. And there's clearly a part where they show that the sloth, or that, that somebody had locked the doors from the inside. Yet all of these people walk into the house. And it's errors like that that I think make the movie, like, I hate, like, I can get into the zone with something that's totally schlocky. But when you make glaring errors where people are walking into a house, like, there's a girl who gets killed who ends up in a hospital, and again, spoilers, the, the sloth smothers her with a pillow, even though it can clearly slice people's throats pretty easily. So it smothers her with a pillow, and then she shows up in the house for no reason other than to show that she's alive. I think she does actually shoot the sloth or something. But she's holding her hospital, like, uh, drip on a th like what did she do walk there like how did she get there and then how did she magically get through the locked doors now i might have missed that part where they didn't where they did unlock the doors but i'm pretty sure the person who had the keys to unlock the door also gets killed it's a little like stuff like that and i know that's nitpicky but it just it throws me from enjoying the movie especially when the you know i could have dealt with the sloth like being like a secret ninja which it does it picks up a samurai sword at one point and it's like dodging bullets and crazy crap like that. But I thought you could have done more creative stuff with the sloth being slow. Because I thought the whole joke was, and this is my interpretation, was that, you know, when you're watching a Jason movie or you're watching Michael Myers, like they walk very slowly through the woods. They're walking very slow and purposefully. But they somehow, and these girls are running full steam and the victims are always running, but they never seem to catch them. Or, you know, like, they, they always just catch up. You could be sprinting, and then you're going to turn around, and Michael Myers is going to be there. I thought that's what this was going to be, where this, they were making fun of that. Like, well, what if a sloth did it? And they hinted at it, where it goes real slow, and then they just abandoned it, which I, I didn't think was funny. Because there's a, one joke that I thought didn't land real well. When the, the sloth takes, they thought having the sloth drive a car would be funny. What I would have thought would have been funnier is if, 
they had the the sloth gps is where the hospital is right i get this is insanity but sloth gps is the hospital or how far the hospital is it should have shown walking distance and then it should have shown <laughs> shown sloth distance so like if it took 10 minutes to walk there maybe it took a half hour for the sloth to get there like <laughs> like put in walking speed and then put in like very slowly and then it could have gone a half hour there killed the girl in a half hour back and they still would have been partying so and just the kills weren't super creative i thought the the thing got a little grapey when it uh roofied a girl i thought that was a little weird um but again it was fun it, it was enjoyable i i think it was pretty interesting you should definitely check it out i saw it on hulu uh, it's got, you know, even the critics, there's 13 critics. Now there's 14, 62%. I'll recommend it. It's 81% with the audience. So they clearly seem to like it too. Like I said, it's a step up from like, it's not CGI schlock. It's not a bunch of garbage. These people really cared about what they did. They worked pretty hard on it. Um, it's not just schlop together. Director Matthew Goodhue. I don't know what you, who you are, but you did a decent job there, chief. Pretty good job. Uh, the potential for an awesomely cra crazy send-up of slashers. Oddly, the problem with the movie is that it's not crazy enough. Kind of agree for, with that. Slaughterhouse aims for so bad, it's good, but the film gets stuck on the bad part, never fully materializing. Like, it's so close to being really good. Like, really hilariously, like, bad good. And it just doesn't quite get there. But it is enjoyable. So I'm going to recommend it. You should check this one out. Let me know. Did you like it? Are you afraid of sloths now? Are you afraid a sloth is going to slowly sneak into your house and murder you? Like that might have been funny. Like they don't know where the killer is. And it slowly climbs up the window. And like a day later it climbs up through, you know, th climbs up a tree and then through the window. And like it takes it a day to get there. But eventually you know it's going to get there and it's going to get you. And the girls like go in and out of their rooms and eventually she's just going to go to sleep and eventually the sloth's going to get there. I thought a lot, there'd be a lot more of that hesitation, that slowness that, you know, that you might get. And it just went for Ninja Sloth, which, you know, whatever, you do you, bro. Anyway, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I would like to hear, let's have a conversation about the sloth. How do you feel about the sloth? If you can... Also, check out our live stream. It's a lot of fun. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday nights, 7.30. Come party with us. Give us a like and subscribe. We're really growing the channel. We could use your help. You could definitely provide it by giving us that thumbs up and a like. It's great. Share with your friends if you want to share the joy of the Slaughter House. Anyway, I've got more reviews coming for you as the Halloween season hits because I love horror movies. I consider myself a little bit of a horror buff. Know quite a bit about it. And, uh... If you have a movie you'd like me to review, let me know. I'll also check that out. But for myself, I'm on to the next one. Ah.